Hi guys, I'm David with MediaLock.net, and today we are going to look a little at Adobe CC Lightroom 6. Now, uh, the two features that I'm going to talk about, I'm guessing you've probably already seen everybody else uh, put their input on because these are the two coolest features that they have. Uh, a panoramic uh, feature and an HDR feature that is integrated into Lightroom allowing you to uh, merge your photos together, keep them in a raw format, and then do your editing. Uh, and it does. There's no loss. Uh, it's all in a raw format, so it allows you to merge panels together, HDR in a raw format, and then do your basic Lightroom editing. So I'm going to show you how they work real quick, and uh, and we'll probably do some other videos on some of the other cool features. But these are the two most prevalent features, at least for me, that I will use on a more regular basis. So let's look at this uh, panoramic. I was out in Nevada uh, at Red Rock last week, and I shot this panoramic. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit shift and pick the two photos that I want that I'm going to right click on them and I'm going to go to photo merge and I'm going to hit panorama. Now it's going to take a second for it to load up. As you can see, I will probably have to do a little bit of cropping to get it perfect um, as I was doing this by hand, not using a tripod. Um, you have a couple options here. Um, you can do the auto crop feature here, which is nice. So if you don't want to take the time to do the crop yourself, um, there's, as you can see, an auto crop option. And then I'm just going to click merge. And as you notice, it's going to take a second for it to merge. Not too long. My computer is fairly fast. And this is, this is the one I did earlier. So it should pop up right next to uh, the original one. So here is the one that I just did. And now I can pop over to, well, I'm already in develop, so I can go on and do some editing. Um, I'm going to want to change the color temperature just a tad bit, maybe a little bit more than that. We'll bring the, uh, the exposures up a tad bit. Still kind of looks a little washed out. We'll bring up the contrast. We will drop the highlights. Um, bring up the shadows. Kind of want to get this uh, mountain back here. A little more into it, hill, mountain, cliff. Maybe we'll drop the whites a tad bit. We'll hit the blacks a little bit. We'll pop the clarity. Now it's starting to look like it has a little pop to it. And then we'll bring up the vibrance. And let's see how much. That's too much. That's not bad. What we could do is bring up the vibrance a little high, get these blues in here a little bit better. And what we can do is drop the color temperature a tad bit. Now the blues look really pretty in this picture. Um, then if I want to, I could do a little extra with curves, but I'm not going to mess with that right now. I am going to add a little bit of sharpening to it. Um, not too much. Let's see how that looks. There was a little bit of noise on the, on the cliff back here, but it's not too bad. It's not like in your face, um, unless it's super zoomed. So there you go. That's a really quick and easy way to edit a panorama um, in a raw format, which is really nice, which, you know, Lightroom, they recently added that in the Adobe CC6. All right, so now we want to do an HDR merge. And let me find out where that one is. Uh, and I think I wanted to do the valley. I took a really cool picture of the valley that I liked. All right, so this is the HDR merge that we're going to do is right here. Uh, this is pretty cool. So what we'll do is we'll then hit shift, highlight them all, right click, photo merge, and then we're going to hit HDR. Again, it's going to bring up this uh, box so you can preview it. And it will take, it takes a little bit longer for the HDR photos. Um, there's a little bit more merging um, that has to go into it. It's auto aligning it. It's auto -tone, toning it as well. So there you go. Um, so now what I'm going to do is everything's where I want it, so I'm going to go on and hit uh, merge. Now this works fairly well. It could there are there are like Photo Matrix and uh, and the Google Nixon uh, HDR plugins seem to work a little bit better. So once you've got your HDR, um, there it is right here. Um, let's see here. Uh, I might actually put it. No. Okay. So there it is. So there's the merged photo. And if we get really close, and you can't really see it, sometimes you're going to see lines where it didn't auto-align right. I do a lot of my HDR uh, by, by holding it uh, in the hand. Um, so if I'm trying to do a quick HDR, I just throw my shutter speed up at a higher 
uh, shutter. So, but it looks like it aligned it pretty well in this photo. Uh, the best way to do an HDR, of course, is use a tripod. We're going to go back into develop, and now we're going to uh, clean it up a little bit. Maybe drop the color temperature a tad bit. Um, I'm going to bring up the exposure a little bit and the contrast as well. The highlights have been dropped. And if you notice that some of this has already been preset through the merging of the HDR, what Lightroom did. Now you can, of course, change these if you want to bring up the shadows more which actually I kind of want to. We're going to pop in some clarity. Um, do we want to do a little bit of saturation and vibrance, maybe a tad bit of vibrance. Again, I'm going to bring the vibrance way up and then drop the... Mm, don't like that. So we'll bring the vibrance down a little bit and then play around with the color temperature. Um, contrast is up. Maybe we want to bring... No. And sometimes you just gotta play around with it till it looks the way you want it to look. Now I think I can probably get a better result out of Photo Matrix or uh, the Google Nix HDR version um, plugin, but this is really nice if you don't have those plugins and you're just trying to uh, do a quick edit or you know don't have the other options. Again, I can play around with a few extra things on curves, or I could actually use the curve tool if I needed. So. And there you go. Um, so there you go. That shows you a little bit about Lightroom CC6 with Adobe. And uh, of course you could do so much more. If I put some more time into this and use some gradient filters and stuff like that, I can make this pop a little bit better. But this was just a, a quick edit and to go over two of my two favorite new exciting things out of the Adobe um, CC family. So welcome Lightroom 6. If you guys got any questions or specific things you'd like to see, please leave a comment or shoot me a message and I'll do my best to take care of that. Have a great day. Bye. Hey guys, if you'd like to check out our website where we have all kinds of fun and exciting blogs, videos, and extra information that isn't on our YouTube page, click right here. If you'd like to talk to us or contact us and kind of take a look at all the different stuff that we have going on, um, we've kind of funneled it all through our Facebook. You can hit our Facebook page right here and follow us or like us. Now, if you like to look at cool pictures and behind the scenes stuff, we do that on Instagram right here. So go on and follow us on Instagram. And of course, we've got our cute little bird right here, Mr. Twitter. And you can follow us as we do our short tweets.